The Fourier transform is a mathematical operation that converts a function of time or space into a function of frequency. It allows us to analyze the frequency components of a signal, such as the pitches of a musical sound or the wavelengths of light. The Fourier transform can be written as f f omega equals indefinite integral infinity infinity f t e to it, where f t is the original function, f f omega is the Fourier transform of f, and omega is the frequency variable. The Fourier transform is also reversible, meaning that we can recover the original function from its Fourier transform using the inverse Fourier transform. f1 f t equals indefinite integral infinity infinity f omega e to it where f omega is the Fourier transform of f, and f1 f t is the inverse Fourier transform of f. The Fourier transform has many applications in physics, engineering, and mathematics, such as heat transfer, signal processing, probability theory, and harmonic analysis. The difference between Fourier transform and Laplace transform is that the Fourier transform converts a time domain function into a frequency domain function, while the Laplace transform converts a time domain function into a complex S domain function. The Fourier transform is only defined for functions that are stable and periodic, while the Laplace transform can be used to analyze unstable and non-periodic systems. The Fourier transform is useful for studying the spectral properties of signals, such as the frequency components and harmonics, while the Laplace transform is useful for solving differential equations and designing filters and control systems. The Fourier transform is a powerful tool that has many practical applications in various fields of science, engineering, and mathematics. Here are some examples of how the Fourier transform is used in real-world scenarios, removing noise from an electrocardiogram signal. An electrocardiogram ECG, is a device that measures the electrical activity of the heart. However, the ECG signal can be corrupted by noise from various sources, such as power lines, muscle contract ions, or other devices. To remove the noise, we can apply the Fourier transform to the ECG signal and filter out the unwanted frequencies that do not correspond to the heart rhythm. Then, we can use the inverse Fourier transform to recover the clean ECG signal 1. Using laser diffraction to calculate the groove spacing on CDs and DVDs, a CD or a DVD is a disc that stores digital data in the form of tiny pits and lands on its surface. The pits and lands form a spiral track that can be read by a laser beam. When the laser beam hits the disc, it diffracts into a pattern of bright and dark spots. The Fourier transform can be used to analyze this diffraction pattern and determine the spacing between the pits and lands, which is related to the amount of data stored on the disk 1. Determining the structure of DNA via X-ray crystallography, DNA is a molecule that carries the genetic information of living organisms. It has a double helix structure, composed of two strands of nucleotides that are held together by hydrogen bonds. To reveal the structure of DNA, we can use X-ray crystallography, which is a technique that involves shooting X-rays at a crystal of DNA and observing the scattered X-rays. The Fourier transform can be used to convert the scattered X-rays into an image of the electron density of the DNA, which reveals the shape and arrangement of the nucleotides one. These are just some of the many uses of the Fourier transform in various domains. The Fourier transform is also useful for studying the spectral properties of signals, such as the frequency components and harmonics, solving differential equations and designing filters and control systems, and compressing audio and image data. To calculate the Fourier transform of a signal in practice, you need to use a numerical method such as the Fast Fourier Transform FFT, algorithm. The FFT is a way of computing the discrete Fourier transform DFT, of a finite sequence of data points, which approximates the continuous Fourier transform of a signal. The FFT can be implemented using a computer program or a specialized hardware device 12 The basic steps of the FFT algorithm are Divide the input sequence into two equal parts, the even-indexed elements and the odd-indexed elements. Recursively apply the FFT algorithm to both parts, until the length of each part is 1. Combine the results of the two parts using a formula called the butterfly operation, which involves complex multiplication and addition. Rearrange the output sequence according to a certain order, called the bit reversal permutation. The FFT algorithm reduces the computational complexity of the DFT from O, N caret 2, to O, N log N, where N is the length of the input sequence. This makes it much faster and more efficient for processing large amounts of data. 
Harmonic analysis is a branch of mathematics that studies the connections between a function and its representation in frequency. It uses tools such as Fourier series, Fourier transforms, and other generalizations to decompose complex functions into simpler components that are sine and cosine terms. These components are called harmonics, and they reveal the frequency characteristics of the function. Harmonic analysis has many applications in physics, engineering, and mathematics, such as analyzing sound waves, electric currents, tides, machine motions, and more. 12. One of the main goals of harmonic analysis is to understand how different types of functions behave under various transformations, such as translation, dilation, rotation, and modulation. For example, some functions are invariant under translation, meaning that shifting them by a certain amount does not change their shape or value. These functions are called periodic functions, and they can be represented by Fourier series. Other functions are invariant under dilation, meaning that stretching or shrinking them by a certain factor does not change their shape or value. These functions are called self-similar functions, and they can be represented by wavelets 13. Another important aspect of harmonic analysis is to study the convergence and approximation properties of the frequency representations of functions. For example, how many terms of a Fourier series are needed to approximate a function with a given accuracy? How fast does the Fourier transform of a function decay as the frequency increases? How smooth or regular is a function based on its Fourier coefficients? These questions are related to topics such as summability, interpolation, lacunary series, and quasi-analytic classes 13 harmonic analysis is a rich and diverse field that has connections with many other areas of mathematics, such as number theory, representation theory, complex analysis, differential equations, and functional analysis. It also has extensions to more general settings, such as abstract harmonic analysis on topological groups and non-commutative harmonic analysis on non-abelian groups. The Fast Fourier Transform FFT, is an algorithm that computes the discrete Fourier transform DFT, of a sequence, or its inverse IDFT. The DFT is a mathematical operation that converts a function of time or space into a function of frequency. It allows us to analyze the frequency components of a signal, such as the pitches of a musical sound or the wavelengths of light 1. The DFT is defined as xk equals n equals 0 sigma n1 xn e2 in forward slash n where xn is the input sequence, xk is the output sequence, n is the length of the sequence, i is the imaginary unit, and k is the frequency index. The inverse DFT is defined as, xn equals n1k equals 0 sigma n1 xk 2 in forward slash n. The DFT can be computed by applying the definition directly, but this is very slow and inefficient. It takes o, n2 operations, where n is the length of the sequence. The FFT is a fast algorithm that reduces the complexity to O, log N, which is much faster and more practical for large sequences 1. The FFT works by exploiting the symmetry and periodicity properties of the complex exponential functions. It divides the input sequence into smaller subsequences, and then combines them using a formula called the butterfly operation. The FFT can be implemented using different methods, such as the Radix 2, Radix 4, or Mixed Radix algorithms. The most common FFT algorithm is the Kulichuki algorithm, which uses a divide-and-conquer approach to recursively break down the sequence into pairs of even and odd samples 12. Here is an example of how the FFT works for a four-point DFT. xk equals n equals 0 sigma 3 xne2 in forward slash 4. We can rewrite this as xk equals m equals 0 sigma 1 x2 me 2 ik 2 m forward slash 4 plus m equals 0 sigma 1 x2 m plus 1 e 2 ik 2 m plus 1 forward slash 4. We can see that the first sum is the DFT of the even index samples, and the second sum is the DFT of the odd indexed samples. We can also use the identity e2 ik forward slash 4 equals e2 ik forward slash 2 e ik forward slash 2 to simplify the second sum. We get xk equals e plus e ik forward slash 2 ok, where ik and ok are the DFTs of the even and odd samples, respectively. This is the butterfly operation that combines the subsequences. We can compute ik and ok using the same method, until we reach the base case of two-point DFTs. The FFT algorithm can be represented by a diagram that shows the data flow and the butterfly operations. For example, the four-point FFT diagram is, four-point FFT diagram. The FFT algorithm can be generalized to any power of two length sequence, such as 8 point, 16 point, 32 point, etc. 
the FFT algorithm can also be extended to non-power of two length sequences, using methods such as prime factor, RADA, or Bluestein algorithms 12. The FFT is a very useful and powerful tool that has many applications in science, engineering, and mathematics. Some examples of the FFT applications are signal processing. The FFT can be used to filter, compress, encode, decode, modulate, demodulate, and analyze signals, such as audio, video, radio, radar, sonar, etc. The FFT can also be used to perform spectral analysis, which reveals the frequency content and characteristics of a signal 12. Image processing, the FFT can be used to perform image enhancement, restoration, compression, encryption, watermarking, and recognition. The FFT can also be used to perform image analysis, such as edge detection, segmentation, feature extraction, ETC-12. Numerical analysis, the FFT can be used to solve partial differential equations, such as the heat equation, the wave equation, the Schrodinger equation, etc. The FFT can also be used to perform numerical integration, interpolation, differentiation, and convolution 12. Cryptography The FFT can be used to perform fast multiplication and exponentiation of large numbers, which are essential for public key cryptography, such as RSA and Diff-Hellman algorithms. The FFT can also be used to perform fast polynomial arithmetic, which are useful for error-correcting codes, such as Reed-Solomon and BCH codes 12. Data compression, the FFT can be used to perform lossy or lossless data compression, such as JPEG, MP3, FLAC, etc. The FFT can also be used to perform data decompression, such as inverse JPEG, inverse MP3, inverse FLAC, etc. The Fourier transform, foot, is a mathematical operation that converts a function of time or space into a function of frequency. It allows us to analyze the frequency components of a signal, such as the pitches of a musical sound or the wavelengths of light one the foot was not created by a single person, but rather developed over time by several mathematicians and scientists who contributed to its theory and applications. Here is a brief overview of some of the main historical milestones of the foot. The origin of the foot can be traced back to the 18th century, when Leon Euler and Daniel Bernoulli studied the vibrations of strings and the propagation of sound waves. They discovered that any periodic function can be expressed as an infinite sum of sines and cosines, which are called the Fourier series too. The first to use the Fourier series in the context of heat conduction was Jean-Baptiste Joseph Fourier, a French mathematician and physicist who published his seminal work, The Analytical Theory of Heat, in 1822. He showed that any function that satisfies certain conditions can be represented by a Fourier series, and used this idea to solve the heat equation for various geometries. He also derived what we now refer to as the Fourier sine and Fourier cosine transforms, which are special cases of the foot 23. The generalization of the Fourier series to non-periodic functions and the introduction of the foot as we know it today are attributed to several mathematicians in the 19th and 20th centuries, such as Peter Gustav Legend Dirichlet, Bernhard Riemann, Georg Cantor, Henry Lebsk, Norbert Wiener, and John von Neumann. They developed the concepts of function spaces, convergence, integration, and measure theory, which are essential for the rigorous formulation and analysis of the foot 23. The practical applications of the foot in various fields of science, engineering, and mathematics were also explored and expanded by many researchers, such as Carl Friedrich Gauss, Joseph Louis Lagrange, Pierre Simon Laplace, William Thompson, Lord Kelvin, James Clark Maxwell, Albert Einstein, Erwin Schrödinger, Claude Shannon, and Dennis Gabber. They used the foot to study topics such as astronomy, optics, electromagnetism, quantum mechanics, communication theory, and signal processing 23. The invention of the fast Fourier transform, FFT, which is an efficient algorithm for computing the discrete foot of a finite sequence of data points, is credited to James Cooley and John Tukey, who published their paper in 1965. However, the idea of the FFT was already known to Gauss in 1805, and rediscovered by several other mathematicians and engineers in the 20th century, such as Urien Linick, Cornelius Lanchos, Richard Gawin, and John W. Tukey. The FFT revolutionized the field of digital signal processing and enabled many applications that require fast and accurate computation of the foot. That was all, goodbye.